Uh, Jeff Munkin has had tremendous success here, really turned the program around. His 47 victories are the fourth most in program history. And think what Army had to go through just to put together a schedule this year as an independent. They've been able to do that. You see what Munkin has done in terms of commander in chief's trophy and the Army head coach is with Maria. Thank you so much, Reese. And yeah, we're sitting here with Coach Munkin, and we're just talking about how beautiful it is to be here in West Point and the fact that you get to actually host Navy here for the first time in 77 years, and you get to be the head coach. What has this week been like for you? It's it's a little surreal. Um, just just the nostalgia and the history of this game and, and knowing that it's here 77 years since the last time. And I told our players, I don't know if it'll ever be here again, so let's make the most of it. Well, it's interesting because your players have sacrificed so much, which we're used to them doing, but they haven't left West Point except for three times, you said, since June 1st. What has been required of them this season? Really to just uh, focus on trying to stay healthy so that we can get to the next game and get to the next week. and. And uh, th this, this pandemic, this virus is it, it's it's uh, it's it's a mean one and it creeps in even when you're 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 as careful as you can be. And our guys have done a remarkable job and, and we've been able to play almost every game yeah. and just really proud of their effort. It's interesting because there were two weeks in the summer when nine of your 12 games were just wiped off the slate because of covid. What is it like being able to put together a complete season and even make it to, you know, the Navy and Army matchup? I told our players don't 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 plan prepare uh -huh. so whatever comes our way whoever they put out there in front of us be ready and uh, and that's what they did I thought our attitude was fantastic effort was as good as it's ever been and uh, and and thanks to to Mike buddy and Bob Beretta for putting that that schedule together every time we lost a game <laughs> it seemed like they they had another one so say hey this 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 team canceled but I've got this team or this team ready to go and we just we never were down to three games we always had a schedule and it's because of their efforts. So we're very grateful to have the opportunity to play this year. Well, it's a unique season where things like Army-Navy takes place here at West Point. And, and we also get to have virtual fans. Your sister's actually joining us as a virtual fan oh. here today. Yes, she is. Right there, there she is. Oh, Hi, guys. <laughs> Your big brother's Evan, gonna, gonna kick the ship out of Navy. You know it. That's pretty good. And what's awesome too, Coach, <laughs> about this season is you get to end the season with Navy and Air Force. Well, it, it, the three biggest games of the year right here at the end are, yeah. are Army-Navy game, which there's, there's not a bigger game in college football in my opinion and then the Air Force game, hopefully for the Commander-in-Chief's trophy, and then our bowl game. So uh, it, it's an amazing December, and our guys are going to have to play really, really well today to have a chance to win, but we're going to have to remain focused as we go forward. Well, Coach, we always love coming here. We always love having a conversation with you. Cadets, would you like to send them out with a big cheer? Go for it. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.